President Trump's travel ban is on hold after a loss in appeals court, but that is not the only legal battle on the horizon for the president. For one, he sued a chef who decided not to open a restaurant in the Trump Hotel in Washington after he called uh, illegal immigrants from Mexico rapists. I spoke with Chef Jose Andres earlier. There's a lot about your lawsuit. Obviously, you can't talk about it. It's an ongoing litigation. Uh, the, the president is suing you for $10 million. You're countersuing, I believe, for, for $8 million. When, when you first launched this suit, you said, more than half my team is Hispanic, as are many of our guests, and as a proud Spanish immigrant and recently naturalized American citizen myself, I believe that every human being deserves respect, regardless of immigration status. Has anything changed? I mean, the lawsuit still continues, yes? Um, fortunately, yes. I, on Twitter, I offer peace. Right, you offered to donate money, both sides donate money to a charity. I offer it because he has to run the country. Uh, the president has to try to do that, no easy task. And I have to run my little group of restaurants. So why we don't put that on the side and everybody does what should be doing? Fortunately, no response yet. But uh, way, your little group of restaurants is pretty well, huge. I, we have 25 <laughs> now. And, and, you know, um, for me, it's very clear. When I did what I had to do, I actually, uh, around the end of June of 2015, I got a phone call of then uh, the Republican candidate, Mr. Donald Trump himself. So before you actually had this lawsuit, when you were first, yes. it was just going to be you, you in business together, uh, while he was a candidate, you got a phone call from him. I got a phone call because kind of we said, listen, uh, Mr. Trump cannot be <laughs> uh, commenting on immigrants and on Mexicans as rapists and other types of things. Uh, I am an immigrant myself and a Hispanic Mexican myself. This is not going to be good for business. So, hey, he's hands on. He gave me a phone call. He said, Jose, we're winning. I was like, <laughs> Mr. Trump, I'm not running on your ticket. <laughs> I only want to run a successful restaurant and you are making it very difficult. So he had heard that you were concerned about this? Yes, through probably his daughter Ivanka and his son, Donald Trump Jr. And, and Quite frankly, I said, we, 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 we need to behave in a different way. Uh, and then he kind of, very surprising to me, very much said, Jose, I know you have very uh, strong beliefs about immigration, immigration reform. Why after New Hampshire, we don't see it and we talk about immigration reform? I'm like, Mr. Trump, this is almost nine months away. I need to find a solution to what's happening right now. And right now you are making, with your comments, our business almost impossible. 